Hi friends, Miss Ella here from Crafts Home School and more. I hope that you're having a wonderful day. We're going to make some rolled paper daisies. Great craft for spring. I hope that you guys find this helpful and enjoy the video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. You will need two strips of papers in two different colors, both measuring 11 and a half inches in length. One piece is one inch wide, and this piece is a quarter of an inch wide. On your wider piece of paper, you're going to draw a line across about a quarter of an inch in width on the edge, so make sure you use a ruler to do that. We're going to fold this in half, make sure that the line is facing out. This will also speed up your small cuttings. I'm just making an eighth of an inch with small cuts, just like so, and I'm, I'm stopping right at the line. When you get to the end, Go ahead and open it up and usually when you fold your paper in half there's going to be a wider piece in the middle. Go ahead and cut through that to make it a narrower, narrower cut. Next step we're going to glue about three quarter of an inch of your narrow piece of paper onto the edge of your wider piece. We're going to start rolling in the paper. You're going to start with your narrow piece and this takes some practice. It took me about the fourth flower until I became efficient at it, so it might help you if you use two hands as well. You kind of hold it or guide, hold it with these two fingers in one hand and then use these two fingers to roll it in. When you get to the wider piece, you're going to keep rolling it in. Now this part gets a little trickier because the paper starts unraveling, so you make sure you hold it taut as you roll it in. When you get to about an inch at the end, go ahead and put some glue and roll it in. So you've got this all rolled in. Now it's time to open up your daisy. So you're just going to find the center of your flower. There we go. You're going to push out the petals gently. You might have to kind of shape it. There we go. These will be great to put on a Mother's Day card or even make a homemade frame that the kids can make and put them on the border. I hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial today. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day.